some crafts, doing some crafts, doing some crafts with Ellen and Matt. Doing some crafts, doing some crafts, doing some crafts and eating some snacks. Hi everybody, welcome to episode 3 of Doing Some Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cool pencil holder. So if you're working from home or you're doing school from home and you need somewhere to put your pens and pencils and highlighters and stuff like that, here's a really fun, creative way to do that. So what you'll need, a can, so I've got a can of black beans. You could also use um, like a pasta jar, um, anything that's going to be wide enough and not too tall that your pens and pencils will get lost in it. So dig through your recycling bin or next time you know you're making dinner save a can. You'll want to make sure that you let a parent, an adult help you get the top off of the can. And then be really, really careful around the inside edges. I am going to take the paper off. If you've got a particularly stubborn wrapper, you can always soak it in water a little bit to make it easier to get off. Okay, so there are a couple of different ways that you could decorate this can. I have one at the Arts Council that's actually sitting on Sue's desk that I made a while back that I actually painted. So painting is an option, yarn is an option, you can just take yarn and kind of spin it around and glue it on there. I'm actually going to repurpose some jeans today. This is something I did when I was younger. I remember having pretty much exactly what I'm going to make today, a pencil holder that I made for some jeans that didn't fit me anymore. So, you need some good scissors. And then the reason I like using jeans is you can get a pocket from it. So, what you'll need to do is kind of measure ahead of time and make sure that the spot you're hoping to use is the right size. And this is going to vary depending on what size your pants are. You know, if you're using kids' pants or adult pants, you just kind of have to measure it out and see what it looks like. Okay, so you'll want to kind of do a rough measure. And you could use a, you know, a marker or something to map this out. Okay, so you can kind of just wrap it around and, you know, mark where you're going to cut. Okay. Now I'm going to cut. All right, here is my finished cut piece. This is much too big than what's gonna fit around the can, but on the inside you can see I've got all of the pocket. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is kind of just do a rough placement on my can. So I'm just going to wrap this around. Okay. My edges meet. I do have to stretch a little bit, but it's jeans are usually a little stretchy, so that's nice. The cool thing about the top is you've got the waistband, which you can really just tuck inside the can. And now if you wanted to, you could cut that off. I think it looks kind of neat, so I'm actually gonna leave it up there. Now that I know my jean piece is the right size to fit around my can, I can start gluing it to the can. Make sure you know which edge you want showing, because that'll tell you which edge to glue down first. You'll wanna glue the edge that's gonna be hidden first. So. I'm actually going to start with the glue on my jeans under the waistband and that'll kind of serve as a guideline for where I'm going to set my can. So get some help with this. 
I'm just going to put a line of glue down. I'm only going to go as far as I know the can is going to reach, so about the bottom of the pocket. And line that up. Okay. And then roll it and kind of make sure it's sticking. Okay. Good. Now I'm just going to put another line of glue down. Once you get to the pocket, you're going to want to try to make sure that the pocket is as flat as you can get it. I'm going to roll it towards that glue, trying to make sure my top of my can is lined up with my waistband. Make sure the glue is squishing in there. Okay, looking good so far. And then just do that a couple more times until you get to where the edges are going to connect. Now I've got it glued and connected throughout most of the can and I'm coming to where my edges are going to meet. So I did not do a great job of cutting really straight lines and I'm going to have kind of a weird spot. But because jeans are stretchy, I can, I can make it work. But I am going to do something after this to make it look a little bit nicer. So for this final panel, instead of um, putting the glue on the jean that I'm you know, connecting it, connecting the can to, I'm going to put it on my original edge that's already glued to the can. So basically gluing the jean to the jean now. But still using that waistband as a guideline, pulling tight to make sure they're going to connect. Okay, so if I fold my waistband in, you could just fold it. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue around there to make sure that it's going to stay and not like keep pulling out as I pull my pencils out or something. Got to move fast though, otherwise the glue is going to dry before you get the jeans in there. Now I need to trim the bottom of my can. You've got a couple different options here. With my jeans, I'm going to end up cutting the pocket. I don't think that's really going to be a problem because the pocket's pretty tight. I can get things in there, but I don't think they're going to fall through while it's sitting on my desk. But if you're concerned about that, you can always just, you know, glue the bottom down as smoothly as you can. It'll still, you know, it'll still stand. It might be a little lumpy or something. But I've decided I'm going to cut the bottom and trim and not worry about the fact that I'm cutting my pocket. If you didn't reach all the way to the bottom of your can when you glued, you might want to add another, you know, lift up the edges that are insecure and add some more glue. Mine, mine's fine, I got all the way down to the bottom. So. You could stop here if your seam looks better. Mine's a little rough. So what I've decided to do is actually cut out the zipper part. It looks pretty neat. And I'm going to attach it over my seam so it looks a little cooler. And then I'll be able to use the zipper just, I guess, for fun. So again, I'm going to use my hot glue. I'm going to stick it here. right over my kind of yucky seam I've got. I want the button, so I'm gonna line that up with the top, even though that's not how I did the rest of it. And then trim the bottom again. That's pretty cool, right? And it's got a pocket, so you can put your favorite utensils or maybe the ones you don't use as much in the pocket so that you've got easy access. I like to organize. The pencil holder is an organizational tool in itself and I can organize within the organizational tool.
So here's my fancy highlighter in the pocket. Maybe I put my fancy Sharpie in the pocket. Boom. Check that out. It's a pretty cool pencil holder. Thanks so much for watching Doing Some Crafts, and we'll see you later. Doing some crafts, doing some crafts, doing some crafts with Ellen and Matt. Doing some crafts, doing some crafts, doing some crafts, and eating some snacks.